How's it going everyone? Um, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up a Facebook dynamic ad. Um, I'm going to show you why they're important and how you can use them in your business. So I'm just going to use one of my client's account, client's account as an example. Um, I'm just going to show you how to sim set up a simple one. So first go to create. I'm, get, I'm going to just assume that you know how to, to use the basics of a Facebook business manager. If you don't, go back watch some of my other videos to show you how to set that up and stuff like that. So I usually just do conversions. I'm just going to pretend that you've got an e-com store and you want to run dynamic ads for that. You know, name it whatever you want. Um, come down here and just go twenty dollars a budget. This is just an example, so I'm not going to get too much into all this sort of stuff. Go next again. Name it whatever you want. Pick the website. Uh, pick purchase pixel if, the, if this is what you're doing. If you're doing an e-com store, you turn dynamic creative on just there. Just read that, go continue. Date, time, I'm going to assume you know how to do all this. Uh, minimum budgets, again, that can be all in another video. I'm just going to show you how to set up a basic dynamic ad. Um, custom audiences, let's go the best custom audience you got. Let's go some look like audiences, which probably aren't going the best at the moment. Let's just go 10% look like audience. If you don't know what any of these are, you can watch some of my other videos. Um, go through here, just turn this off. Pick your ages, stuff like that. You know, leave all these as automatic if you don't really know what you're doing. You can play around with this. I I like one day click or view on e-com stores. To be honest, I I, I get a lot, a lot of success with it, so I just, I tend to stick with that. Um, other people try other things, and that's up to them. But I tend to I tend to get good results with one day click or view. Go okay, next. Hopefully your Instagram account's connected. If not, it's probably because your Instagram account is a um, is a uh, is not a business one, so make sure it's going to your Instagram settings and make sure it's business. Um, don't worry about all these; these are just going to show up. So, um, dynamic ads. I'll show you. So, this is what your account's going to look like uh, when you first come into it. But I couldn't be bothered setting them all up um, as we went, so I've just got one that I set up earlier. So, I've actually got this set up as a retargeting ad. So, the good thing about dynamic ads is you can pick what is it, ten pictures? I think, yeah. 10 videos or pictures, so you can have five videos, five pictures, you know, two videos, eight pictures, whatever it is. You can jam them all in there, and then you come down to the text, and you can have, you know, three or four. I think you can have up to five, I think. I've only got two, but I think you can have five, and I think you can have four different headlines. So, um, you know, of course, this is a retargeting ad. I put the five, I upload the five or six whatever it is, seven seven products that do well, and then I mix and match the copy. So 15% off, this is a retargeting ad, use this coupon, um, shipping, blah, blah, blah. You know, you can write as much as you want. Um, it depends on what your product is. The only thing is here, you've got to keep it sort of generic. Depends on what your product is. You don't want a product of a frying pan and then a product of a, a spatula and then say, buy this frying pan in here. You need to keep it fairly vague depending on what pictures you pictures you use. So keep that in mind. Um, along with the headlines, same thing. Um, you can't say what I just said before, you know, get this new bike while it's on sale, but, you know, you've got bikes in the pictures and you've got, you know, bike pumps as well. So you've got to keep it sort of generic, as you can see what I've done here. Because this is a retargeting ad, it's very easy to keep it generic. You just go 15% off world uh, store-wide, use the welcome code, welcome15, you could do free shipping, afterpay available. So there's heaps of different things that you could do for retargeting ads that are generic. Uh, this sort of ad works really well. So if you don't know how dynamic ads work, what Facebook does is it will take these pictures, it will take these headlines, and it will take these texts, and it will just mix and, mix and match. So it will take this picture with this text with that headline, and then it will show to someone else a different picture with a different headline, different text. And it will just continually mix and match until it finds a winner and then it will probably stick with that. It will spend most of the money on that, but it's, it does, it just continually mixes and mixes, matches and, and um, it's really good for retargeting because you could, this is one form of retargeting. You can do catalog ads, they're obviously better, but I find these work really well as well because um, these are the top products. So if they're popular on that stall already, then people who have already visited the store, a pretty good chance they're probably going to be interested in it as well. So really good um, ad, these ones. And then I usually just keep the home page as the URL. Uh, webs you could even do, you know, different URLs in here if you want. But again, you've got to keep it sort of generic because you, you don't want them seeing this picture here 
and then this URL takes them to a different product. It's just, you know, a bit, a bit, a bit annoying. Um, keep this URL, like I said before, shop now. Make sure your events are picked. Um, this is a little bit more custom, so don't worry about that. Um, and really basic, that's that's a, a dynamic ad, guys. Um, hopefully that helps. Uh, if you've got any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'll leave my Facebook um, profile below. If you've got any questions, hit us up on Facebook. And um, yeah, I'll see you next week. Thanks, guys.